Hi guys! Today I want to show you how to make three things for your Midori or Frodori style traveller's notebook um, that I'm going to make with things that I've got laying around. Um, you may not have them, you may have to go out and buy them or you may be able to make them yourself from scratch but um, they are pockets, insert pockets for my Midori but it isn't going to be for the standard size Midori I'm going to make it for the A5 faux Dory that I'm going to be setting up but you can make them for any size you want so you can make them for the, the standard or the passport size Midori or you can make them for the alternative size faux Dories like the field note size and the A5 size so all you've got to do is take the techniques that I'm using and scale them to the right size Frodori or Midori you're using. So, so what I'm going to be showing you how to make is my binder style insert which this one's a personal Filofax size but you can make it for any size paper that you want and it's really easy to make and it's really useful. I'm also going to be showing you how to make a credit card ziplock style pocket which is I'm going to be making it one half credit card one half ziplock pocket but you can make it two halves credit card like the Midori insert or you can make it two halves ziplock pocket or two halves um, you can make any combination of pockets you want as long as you've got the pockets to stick together or if you can make them yourself and I'm also going to be showing you how to make the um, pull out da dashboard like this out of fly leaves or just out of cardboard that you can pull out and fold back and and do all sorts of things with uh, the flyleaf dashboard for your Midori or Fodori. So those are the three things that I'm going to be showing you how to make and what I'm going to be doing is making them, doing it fast forwarded on the video because it's going to take me a while to make them but you'll be able to see how I make them once I've edited the video to fast forward the process because it's going to take a while for me to make but you'll get the idea from just watching me doing it really fast. I'm going to do a narration over the video. If you've got any questions or any comments leave them in the comments box below and I hope you enjoy the video. So now I'm going to be making the Ziploc credit card pocket. So this is my Midori credit card and Ziploc pocket. They're actually two separate inserts but I'm going to be making one with one half credit card pocket and one half Ziploc pocket and it will be attached and it will go round the back of my notebooks um, under the elastics like the normal Midori inserts. So what I'm using for this is a Filofax A5 Ziploc pocket insert and a Filofax A5 credit card pocket insert but you can use whatever pocket inserts you want whether they're from Filofax or from some other place okay so what you need for this is some kind of tape I use this really wide tape because it's really good because the width of the gap between the two inserts is going to be quite big to fit around the back of all of the inserts in your Midori or Fodori. So it's this kind of clear packing tape. You can also use duct tape or any kind of wide tape that will last for a while. So I just make sure that the gap between the inserts that I'm using is the right length, uh, the right width, and then I cut the tape of course my tape has got stuck to the acetate I'm using as a, a work surface underneath and I do one strip at the front and now I'm struggling to get the tape off the roll here this isn't very good tape it, it does separate quite a lot so I'm sorry if you see me struggling with that so I've done one strip at the back now I'm doing one strip at the front And then I'm separating another piece from the roll and the roll is really, you know, when sellotape kind of 
doesn't behave it's doing that a lot so I just keep adding layer upon layer of the tape as much as I think will need to be um, added to keep the insert strong because this is the bridge between the two inserts it's going to be going um, behind the elastic so it's going to be need to, needs to be strong enough to keep the inserts together and to keep them strong behind the elastics so I've added four strips there that adds as, acts as a bridge and you can pull at the inserts but they won't separate and I'm just trimming the sellotape at the top and the bottom and that's that insert made easy as pie so this next insert is the binder style insert that I was using in my standard size Midori Traveller's Notebook. I made it out of two personal size Filofax fly leaves and Filofax paper and um, it's really simple to use. You just have a treasury tag which holds everything together and you can really easily add and take away pages just like you do in a Filofax which you can't do with a normal Midori insert because it's bound so all you have to do is take the treasury tag out take out the page or add a new page and pop the treasury tag back in and at the end of this segment I'm going to show you how you put it inside your Midori with the back page here so you don't actually need to use two Filofax fly leaves you can use one Filofax fly leaf and a piece of card or two pieces of card and you can actually add dividers which is something that I love so what I'm using for this is one fly leaf an A5 one and an A5 piece of card and you've got to work out which one's your front and which one's your back and put the holes i.e. the edge of the pages with the holes spine to spine so that they're sitting next to each other so I'm just punching some holes in my A5 piece of card and then the holes will be sitting next to each other and now what I'm doing, because I'm using um, sellotape on the card, and the sellotape is what holds the two pieces together, is that I'm going to add a piece of the wide packing tape to the top and bottom of the card above and below the holes, because I'm going to need to adjust the tape that I'm adding um, in a second um, just to make sure that the um, the distance between the two pieces the, the fly leaf and the piece of card are the right distance apart so I'll need to be removing the sellotape which could rip the card so I'm just adding this as protection for the card you don't need to do this if you're just using acetate because um, the sellotape is really easily removed from acetate but it's it will tear the card so I'm just adding this to protect those pieces of card and I'm doing this really quickly so it is a bit messy and I keep getting sellotape stuck to my hands so when you're doing it at home you can obviously take more time and care to do it so then you put the pieces of card on the page on the um, work surface you're working on and make sure there's a few millimeters gap between them because if they're touching then they won't be able to take the thickness of the card and paper that you're putting inside the binder insert then you take a piece of sellotape a couple of inches long and you attach it over the two pieces of card or fly leaves at the um, top and bottom so above and below the holes just like that it's really simple make sure you leave a couple of millimeters gap in between the two and then you add them on the other side as well so it's similar to adding the bridge on the previous insert I made but these two are really close together and you make sure that the um, the pages are equidistant from each other at the top and the bottom and that's it that is your front and back cover and all you need now is the inserts that you're going to be putting in them so you can just put paper you don't have to use filofax paper you don't have to use filofax anything you can make it your own um, design from any sort of paper or card you've got and punch just two normal holes like you get in a folder or you can use filofax punch like i have 
and then you just add the treasury tag between the two nearest holes. You need quite a long treasury tag for this. And I always make sure it's a bit longer so I can just pull at the bottom to tighten the, um, the treasury tag. And then you can just take it out of one hole at a time and add your paper through like that. Just pop it back through the hole, tighten it up, and there you go. There is your binder insert. And now you may have to add something to the insert you've just made because how I attach it inside the um, insert is through the back of the Ziploc pocket, which is actually more of a slip pocket. I, I attach the back cover of the insert, which on the personal size one is a flyleaf, and I slip it into the slip pocket and that's what holds the insert into my Midori. But I realised that the Ziploc credit card pocket I made earlier, and I showed you a few minutes ago, um, I didn't actually make a pocket to fit the back of this one. So, so I've decided to attach the um, binder insert to the Ziploc pocket I made using washi tape. I've decided to use washi tape because it's easily removable and it won't be as permanent as tape. but you can use other types of tape. And I've decided to use some of the MT tape brand because this is particularly strong and some of the um, cheaper non-brand um, name tapes that I've got do not stick very well and they tend to peel up after a couple of weeks so I've decided to use the stronger tape. So I'm just lining it up on the Ziploc pocket, making sure it, it sits properly, and then I tape it twice at the top and twice at the bottom. And it's just going over the front of the card and the back of the Ziploc pocket, and the Ziploc pocket is still completely accessible, and it's just fixed like that. And it won't go anywhere, because I've used strong washi tape. And now I'm going to make the pull-out flyleaf dashboard which you saw early in the video. So I'm using some acetate 12 by 12 sheets which I got from a craft shop however you can use ones you get from stationery shops or possibly ones that you get from your filofax. And I'm just using an A5 piece of paper to draw around to give me the size of each sheet of the flyleaf. I'm going to use two A5 sheets of acetate which I cut from this larger sheet and I'm going to use one strip smaller in um, size that is just shorter than the height of A5 and about half the width of A5 from the remainder of the acetate sheet. So I've drawn around my piece of A5 paper but you could just measure it out depending on which size of the um, Midori or Fodori you're making. So if you're making a smaller one, obviously you cut your acetate smaller. And I'm using a heavy duty craft knife and a metal ruler on the cutting board to cut it. And obviously I'm being very careful and trying not to cut my fingers off. Fortunately I haven't done that yet, but I try to be very careful. And it does take a few cuts to get through the acetate and you have to be careful because the slippery surface, the ruler might slip and you might have an accident. So you do have to be careful. And it's just starting to be cut through. Okay, so that's part of the piece cut. I'm just cutting the first true piece of A5 and I don't need the ruler anymore because I've already created a ridge. There we go, that's one A5 sheet. Now I'm going to cut the next one. Metal rulers are really brilliant. Don't try this with a plastic ruler because I have actually sliced into plastic rulers before with craft knives. However, you can get upholstery rulers which are plastic but with a metal edge which are really good. So I've got my two A5 sheets and now I'm going to make a smaller sheet with the remainder of the 12x12 card. And I'm just going to use the height of the A5 sheet 
but I'm actually going to cut it a few millimetres shorter so that the top of this part doesn't come over the top of your Midori. So there I've got two A5 sheets and the one smaller sheet. So now I'm going to stick the pieces of flyleaf together with sellotape. This is normal sellotape but you could use washi tape, duct tape, any kind of tape as long as it's strong enough and it won't deteriorate as some tape goes a bit orange over time and brittle and it won't work but obviously this is very easy to repair if you do have to repair it it's very straightforward and it doesn't take a lot of time which is the beauty about making your own inserts so I've got four pieces of sellotape about two inches long each and I'm just lining the sheets of acetate up with a slight gap in between of maybe one or two millimetres because it helps them fold in on each other properly and I'm just sellotaping them at the top and the bottom and now I'm sellotaping the smaller piece to the side of one of the bigger pieces and just making sure it's lined up properly And there you have it, a foldable pull-out dashboard. And what I'm going to do is either stick it onto the inserts that we've made or stick it onto the front of a notebook, which will go into my faux dory. But you could also just have a piece of card folded it in half and put over the elastic and you could stick it on there. And I'm just going to trim the edge because I could see that when I tucked it into the notebook I wanted to put it in it stuck out a bit so I'm just going to trim that and you can also round the corners on these because acetate is quite sharp and so you could cut yourself so I do recommend rounding the corners with a corner rounder or a pair of scissors it might be easier to do this before you sellotape the pieces together So now I'm using four small pieces of washi tape, about a centimetre long each, to fix the acetate, the smaller piece, onto the front of a notebook. You could fix it on the inside of the notebook and have the flyleaf coming out of the front, but I prefer the flyleaf to sit on the inside of the notebook and the smaller piece to sit on the front of the notebook, just so it's out of the way and that means that the two larger pieces of the flyleaf can sit on the inside of the front of the notebook as a kind of dashboard spread and then you can pull it out as you like and fold it back or have it out fully. And so that would be how it is arranged inside my Fodori. So you've got the flyleaf which can come out, you've got the credit card pocket at the front You've got your notebook, you can obviously have more than one notebook. You've got your binder insert with all your pages, which you can take out and put in. And then you've got your Ziploc pocket. And that's how you make your own inserts. And you can put it inside your Fodori as you like. Thanks for watching. Bye.